Hello everyone, this is Mike89, welcome to the sixth video in my Sonic 3 and Knuckles speedrun tutorial series. Uh, this video will cover launch base, let's get stuck in. So straight away we're holding right out of here, uh, and you very first jump comes from very much about here, the corner of where the ground meets this alarm. What you have to do is time it so that you trigger the alarm and also clear the lip of that that ramp there. Now, there's a beat in the music that if you're holding right all the way from the start, I find it very easy to time with the beat in the music. Uh, very tempting to try and kill that enemy. Don't do it because it will uh, mess up the flybot's path. Now, we're going to wait up here for just a second. As soon as the timer can't see it now. But as soon as the timer goes to 8 seconds, we want to step on that metal cylinder. So we want to stall for a little bit. And again, there's a beat in the music that I use to time that jump as well. Um, so it's roughly as Sonic is halfway in front of that and halfway behind it. So roughly about that position on the ramp, on the cylinder. Uh, so then we're going to jump down to here, and then we're going to move into position on this platform. Now this is really tight, so we want to have Sonic's foot about there, roughly the middle of that first tile here. You can see how small these tiles are. You have the dark purple, the light purple, the dark purple. This is how precisely we have to line this up. Roughly the middle of that first tile there. Now, if you overshoot it, you can actually line it up on the uh, facing right as well. This time we're looking at Sonic's heel, and we want it to be right on that line between the first and second tiles. Uh, as soon as you hit either of those, now we look up. And what this is going to do, is it's going to shift the screen up, and you can see here, that Nuc uh, Sonic's actually off the screen. And Sonic being off the screen means that the sprites below where we are right now, such as those spikes in the pit, aren't actually rendered. So, we were holding up before, now we want to switch to holding right, because, wait for it, we're going to fall into this wall here. So right now, Sonic's in this wall, about here. And all i got to do now is hold right, and he'll zip to the end of the stage. Now, there is one more thing you got to do. Um, so just tap left a couple of times, and now duck. You'll see the screen shift down a little bit. Uh, that's super important because we're right near the edge of where we can actually trigger the boss. So we have to make sure that down is held until you can see Sonic there. Right now, I am right under the computer that will cause this to shift position to up there. So I now have to let go of down as soon as I see Sonic, jump, and then spin dash. That's why I'm facing left and just fall down into the arena here. Now you can see I've got no rings, but that really isn't a problem because you have the insta shield. All you have to do really is stand in the middle and do these insta shields one by one. And so we, do, we count 11 of them. So that you kill one uh, boss, but not the other one. And now I'm just doing spin dashes along the ground here to make sure that I don't kill it. But it's also so that you can kill me later. Um, as soon as I come back, I'm going to start falling and down here, this is a kill plane that's going to kill me. Um, but if I have to fall all the way down the kill plane, it's going to take two seconds to die and that will count against my time. So I would rather have that, uh, that boss there to kill me instead. Uh, now we move on to the hardest trick in the game. So, immediately we start with a spin dash. And we have to, it has to be perfect. 
so it has to be at least six taps so charge this one as long as you feel like you have to but then you also have to release the spin dash the exact frame after the last button press so that you get the perfect speed you see this time I do the way you'll know is if you go past that platform there without landing on it that's how you know you got a perfect spin dash but not over yet there's one more frame perfect trick at the moment we're stuck to this tube but you can jump off it and the perfect frame is right near the bottom it's when Sonic is about here and if you jump then you get pushed into the ground it is the hardest trick in the game because it's frame perfect both up the top and down the bottom here but assuming that you jump from the right place all you have to do now is hold right and you'll again get a level wrap the same as you did in Act 1 so if we can we start we hold right a little bit longer after we see the screen pan out to the right then jump tap left and hold down uh, no not holding down but we're tapping left so that no we charge a spin dash that's right charging a spin dash you'll see I appear charging a spin dash and I'm going to attack Robotnik and I'm going to bounce back and I'm going to do it again. But you cannot be too quick on these hits because there's an invisible wall right here. So if you spin dash too quickly, you'll stand up up against this wall and you'll get hit and you have no rings so you're going to die. So if anything, be a little bit conservative with doing those spin dashes and remember that the gap between vulnerabilities is half a second. And that just knocks you straight back into the Eggomatic. Uh, there's actually nothing to see here, so I'm going to skip straight to where you line up with this boss. So you can see down here, there's this little I actually circle it instead. Little marking there. And I want to line Sonic's toe up with it. Sonic's toe there. Lining up with that little piece of uh, background on the base of the platform. If you can line him up with that just so. And up. Being just a tiny bit away from Robotnik's hitbox. This is a good thing because the Insta Shield expands your hitbox. So as soon as he pops up above the, as soon as he pops up above like this, he's fair game. So now we're going to start doing Insta Shields. We do four, and the first layer drops off. Now wait just a little bit moves up very quickly so you don't want to leave it too long but you want him to get to about there and that's just because this spike ball here is moving around Robotnik's head like that and by about the time you get the seventh hit it's going to be around here now if Robotnik is still down here and the spike ball's moving around here, it's actually far enough to the left that it will hit and kill Sonic. That's why I move just a little bit up and out of, why, why I let Robotnik move just a little bit up and out of the way. So as you can see, no danger of getting hit by the spike ball at all. And that is how you do launch base. Speedrun set. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to the start and let this whole stage play out without interruption. 